and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. In today's video, we're looking at the evolution of Britannia on coins. This journey first starts in the reign of Charles II, who introduced the copper farthing with Britannia on. Here we see the shield and Britannia holding a staff, as well as holding high in the air a branch of leaves. The exact same design was used on the tin farthing of James II, the successor to Charles II. However, the next king, William III, made changes to the design. The shield and the staff are still the same, but Britannia is holding the branch of leaves lower down and more centrally in the coin's design. The first queen to use Britannia on coins is Queen Anne, who had a slightly different design again, with more detail being brought in in the modern times, and the olive branch once again is being held in a slightly different place. We see the same thing again with the movement of the olive branch on the George I coins, with Britannia's design being pretty much the same, only the olive branch moving. Now with George III are some more noticeable changes. Here is his first issue Britannia, nicknamed the Skeletal Britannia. The design has changed, Britannia looking a bit thinner, and the olive branch is in a different place once more. In 1797, the Cartwell Penny and Two Pence were introduced, bringing about a new design of Britannia. We're sitting on waves with a new type of shield, and most interestingly, holding a trident rather than a staff, and the olive branch is still there as well. After the Cartwell coins came this design, which was used on farthings, half pennies, and pennies, with a Soho mint tag by the shield, Britannia holding the olive branch and the trident once again, the date being removed to the obverse this time, leaving a gap under Britannia. But it would be George IV to bring about the biggest changes yet. That's right, you've seen it, Britannia's facing the other way, as well as there being many more words around the rim of the coin on the Britannia side. The Lion of England is sat at her feet, with the shield on the other side now, as well as the olive branch being held by the shield. A big change. Next up is the design for the William IV coins, who kept it pretty much the same, removing the lion noticeably, and making a few tweaks to Britannia, as well as moving the date back to the obverse, leaving the floral emblems of each country underneath Britannia, as we can see here. So far, Britannia had been used on the farthing, halfpenny, and penny, but William IV also made it used on the fourpence piece, or groat, meaning at this point there were four coins with Britannia design on. But now, it's Queen Victoria. From 1837 to 1860, she used the exact same design as William IV, but in the great recoinage of 1860, the design has changed once more. Here we see Britannia, sat by the sea with a lighthouse and boat in the distance, the shield is also what she's sitting on without the olive branch, and the trident is held in the air. This design was used on the penny, half penny, and farthing, and the great recoinage also stopped the use of four pences. Here it is used again on a George V example. In fact, this design of Britannia, although the lighthouse and boat were removed, lasted all the way up into 1971, when it was finally only stopped being used because of decimalization. On the new decimal 50 pence, Christopher Ironside redesigned the Britannia, the trident and shield are still there, the olive branch is now back, as is the Lion of England sat at Britannia's feet. The newest and current design of Britannia is this one. Here we see Britannia standing up, holding the shield to her side, with the trident slung over her shoulder, in a more casual fashion. This coin is a great segue onto our next part of the video, and that is Standing Britannia Designs. We'll start off with the Standing Britannia Florin or two shilling piece. First used in the reign of Edward VII, Britannia can be seen here standing in front of the sea with the trident and shield by her side and her robes flowing in the coastal wind. In 1987, the Royal Mint released their first bullion coin called the Britannia after the design of the front. The Britannia can be seen here with the shield, olive branch and trident in front of the sea with her robes flowing in the wind once again, based off the first original Standing Britannia design. We haven't got time to look at all of them, but let's have a look at some of the special design Britannias for these bullion coins over the years. Here we see 2017's one, where Britannia can be seen holding the trident on a chariot being pulled by some horses. Here we see the 2019 version, Britannia is holding the shield and trident as usual, and the Lion of England is there as well, in front of a nice sunny beach scene. Here is a close-up look at Britannia's head on the 2003 one-ounce silver Britannia, we can see the helmet here in more detail. Here is a pile of gold Britannias featuring some of the designs from over the years. It's not just bullion coins that Britannia's on, here we see a £50 coin with Britannia and the Lion of England at her feet, standing in front of the world. Thank you for watching. Please comment down below your favourite type of Britannia, and we'll see you next time on Bits and Bobs.